So I had to go ahead and start another one. My grandson called right in. This is not going to be long. But I was saying, have you ever put like a little drop of dish liquid in the bathtub? Like some Joy or some palm olive or maybe some ivory dish liquid. Remember we used to use ivory dish liquid? Well, we used to take a bath in that. And so look at this. And this is all bubbly. And that's just bar soap. Let's pour it out. Because somebody might think that I... Oh, she probably put some dish liquid in there. It's not that soapy. Okay, so let's go ahead and dump it out. And the soap is soft. It's already gone off the bottom. Let's see. Let's do it one more time. Because I'm showing you that the soap is not wasteful. You know. I shouldn't say not wasteful. I should say... It doesn't have to be wasted, is what I should say, right? All right, so that's just plain water with the soap that's on the sides. I'm going to rub some of it. It's still hard, but, you know, soap gets wet and it melts, you know? You leave the soap in the bathtub, you understand that it get all soft and slimy. Right, so I'm just rubbing these sides. You see all of that? That's soap. Okay, and then let's see if we can make those bubbles again. All right, I'm going to use the other hand, okay? Because this one doesn't have nothing. All right, let's go. I just put a little teeny bit of Joy Palm Olive Ivory Liquid. Those were the only ones I would use. And put it in there, let the water run, and just swish my hand. And I swish both hands, and they just be splashing and swishing with me. Thinking, oh, we making bubbles, mommy. We making bubbles. And I say, yeah, we're making bubbles, children. Let's go. Okay? Yeah, and I said children because when they was really little, both of them were in the bathtub together. My daughter and my son because they were really little. You know, two and three and four years old, five years old, they real small. Okay, these days there's so much perversion in the land that you can't even, you know what I'm saying. And the people still, you know, Bake their kids together. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's your house and your children. You watch them. Watch your babies. That's all you got to do is watch your babies. So here's our soap. And it's just from the soap that we made. And it's been sitting in this container. And on this knife. And I'm all done. So there you have it. There you have it. You can throw your soap away. Like you've been doing. Or you can stick that thing in a mayonnaise jar like this. And you can come together with a top. And let it all come together. And when you're ready for it, go ahead and make it into a new soap ball. Set it at your sink for your children, your neighbors, whoever might be visiting. Be like, oh, that's, what's that? Oh, that's soap. Oh, that thing smells good. Where you get that from? All the soaps I bought all this year. <laughs> That's what you tell them. All the soaps that I bought all this year, honey. I know you can't hear me because I walked away. Because I went to get some iced tea, okay? Right. I got iced tea. This is my Overridge bottle. I make all kinds of iced tea. But I ain't get ready to show y'all that. Okay, because this ain't to clean out the refrigerator movie or video. Okay, so that's where we at. And when I have too much tea that I made in my big old crab pot and everything, then I have to use all kinds of jars and jugs and things like that. My son might pull up and be like, Mom, you got some iced tea? I'll be like, here, boy, take this one. You know what I'm saying. So that's that, y'all. But this mayonnaise jar is very useful. You can make soap. You can wash it out. Then you can have yourself some iced tea. Mm-hmm. So good, okay? And just like that, we're done.